Well, hello, party people. I don't know. Welcome to the stream. This is VR Master League. Monday evening here in North America. We've got ourselves one matchup. Just one. But boy, is it a doozy. Do people still say doozy? I just did. Hey, you guys remember Gloozy? I know we were talking about uh, players there in the Discord earlier. Actually, I think Gloozy still... He subbed the other... Not subbed the other day. Followed the other day I saw on, uh, on this Twitch channel. That's why I was thinking of him. There you go. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and Boozy. Gilligan missing Boozy there. Good times over there in Bear League. But yeah, hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. It, it looks like we're staying servers. There was some discussion between these two teams on what exactly they, they were doing. It seemed like they were going to do a server switch. Now they're not, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to tell them to start when they're ready and let them figure it out from there. But yes, hello to everyone. Saw a, a Strem raiding with a party of five. No one expects the Strem Inquisition except Palador. I was well prepared. Uh, over there too, we see Vlastro subscribing at tier one. Three months now, and on a two-month streak, thank you to Vlastro. Very much in the clutch once again, subbing left and right. Even the sub that I have right now is, in fact, a Vlastro sub. That's right, Palador doesn't, doesn't even uh, subscribe to this Twitch channel. I don't have the money for that, but Vlastro sure does, so on behalf of him, thank you, because I am subbed. And look, I'll prove it. See? You can see. There you go. But yeah, so welcome everyone to it. Uh, teams have been pinged in any case. I see a lot of people piling in there for the chat all over the place. In the Twitch, you got people up there in the uh, Echo Scrim Discord parting up, no doubt, and about to talk all kinds of smack about all players involved and possibly casters even. Who knows? I don't know what goes on in there when I'm not in there. I'm already concerned when I am in there. But nonetheless, we're getting ready to start soon. And yeah, so these two teams, this is a uh, essentially a finals matchup from the preseason. Grand finals rematch. Uh, these teams also did face, in fact, last on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Why would I even know that holiday? It's not relevant to me. But I still uh, looked it up and I remembered. So on Valentine's, these teams faced off, and it was a two-round victory for Joker at the time. Uh, they took that one 9-7 to seven in round one and 14-8 to eight in round two. So a few weeks back, almost a month ago, in fact, is the last time these two teams met, at least in a VRML match. I'm sure they scrim all the time. Uh, Blastro saying, where are the three-month, six-month, and one-year badges at, dude? I don't know, man. I'm, I, I'll get I'll get them. I'm still, uh, you know, I've got myself a big old list of things, and managing the Twitch channel is, unfortunately, at the moment, a little bit lower on the list compared to some other stuff. But I'll get there. I think, actually, I mean, I did have VTS at some point offering to uh, help do some of those things. I, I, I don't know my way around Twitch that much, admittedly, but... I'll get there for the sake of the people, but for the benefit of those at home, guess what? The round's about to start. Surprise, surprise. Didn't expect that, did you? But here it is. Off his first joust, Illuminati, Team Joker. Uh, Illuminati over on the orange side. Suburban Legends and uh, QL Young, Speedy V, Ender right here. It's going to be a contender for a shot. Couldn't make it, but Ryan 8 gets the rebound. A lot of clutter, so they're just going to... Uh, fluttered out there towards the back line. One more towards the barrier, and now the shot. Jay Walker carries it in there, right, uh, assisted by Dash to start this one off in just about 20 seconds of play. Good start there from Joker. Got a little bit clustered, so the, what they do, they backed it out. They put it in, and then right back again into the tunnels we go on this second joust. First uh, offensive advantage for Illuminati as Speedy rolls out and just throws it to the pocket, sort of. I don't know what that was, but he got it back, so maybe it was all as uh, intended there, according to plan. Over here, the bottom ramp, taken by a pileup of four Joker players. Getting that spreading out now and, and shooting, or clearing it, rather. We see Skinny over there on the Joker roster, of course. Kung currently out of commission, vacationing somewhere or other across the world. Uh, I think he's on a cruise at the moment, locked down for a few weeks, something like that. But anyways, Kung will make, be making his return at some point, but then someone else on Joker is leaving. I think it was Jay Walker, maybe, as a Ender goes in for just a ding off that corner, rebounded by Suburban, and then now Jay Walker takes it away, clears it through, and right back to it we go. So off the uh, clear the boost 
The three. There's five quick points. Illuminati. Quick start for uh, these guys here. Coming off what was a really hot Sunday of matches. Uh, Sunday morning. They made me wake up early. I just set alarms. And the thing is, daylight savings took effect, but it does not affect Arizona. So I had to wake up even earlier than usual. Even worse was the fact that uh, the, the VRML schedule on the site was showing me as um, MDT instead of MST, which means it wasn't even an hour earlier than I thought it was going to be at the time. I wasn't prepared, but right here, well prepared for the save and for the clear out there. Skinny's getting a clear off to the Joker player, Ryan in the midline as Illuminati quickly retreats, not willing to concede a three, so there's a pair of them in the goal right there. Q coming into uh, the tunnel to contest that one, and in the midline, yeah, the two players, kind of a 2v2 in the midline, a 2v2 in the back line ish as uh, the players here for Joker move on up. Jay Walker going right to Ryan. Ryan will have an angle, a beautiful save actually from Suburban Legend. I was prepared to just say fantastic pass and then that beautiful dunk, but no, that was a great save by Burbs. But Jay Walker, first to the disc, gets it, looking for a clear perhaps right down the bottom as it takes some bounces and just hangs here at mid for a while and getting hung up there. With the stun is Suburban off Jay Walker's stun. Look at that immediate clear, the good boost, but just as well from QL. Looking good, gets the clear. I'm seeing a lot of what, what, what's in the chat. What, what, did I do something or did you do something? It's probably you guys, not me. Over here though, it's going to be Ryan taking the disc, looking for a skinny. And a uh, shot looks like could have been online potentially, but it was very soft, so it will be uh, taken back by Burbs, but unable to really do much with it. And Skinny coming through with maybe a three opportunity off the barrier, but good positioning from Jay Walker will earn them a rebound as he slings it backwards. Well aware of the defense approaching, and yet again, Ender speedily coming by. And uh, Jay Walker now finding maybe an open pass. There's just a one goalkeeper there, but a good stun dived out by Speedy. Ender takes it away, clears it through, needs to find a boost here. Maybe get the first points on the board for Illuminati. They have a chance. And there you go, QL Young. Before it got too old, finally got the goal. Three point game, four minutes expired so far. Strambitsky saying QL carry. Well, he did carry that disc to the rim. If nothing else, I'll give you that much. I know a lot of people in the chat were in favor of Illuminati, or uh, sorry, Team Joker. And uh, understandably uh, based on Joker's hot streak because uh, thus far in season one, they only have two losses, that eight and two record. And their only two losses on the season were to, uh, well, Kangorillas, Strem's team over there. Uh, at the time, undefeated in both of those losses that Joker took. Uh, Kangorillas, yeah, just uh, right there. Oh, the thrill of a shot from Jay Walker will be had for 8-2 to two lead on the board. But yeah, so Joker only lost to the undefeated team at the time. Uh, meanwhile, for Illuminati, obviously the preseason champions, not a team to shake a stick at by any stretch of the word, but six wins and four losses on their season. So, you know, statistically speaking, yeah, Joker is going to be the favored team here. And especially after what was a super dominant Sunday performance, the undeniably, undeniably just uh, looking at perhaps their, their mid-season form, uh, never better. Despite the fact that, again, Kung out of commission for the meantime, out of state, out of country even, but uh, it was Skinny there who stepped in big time and played very well for his team, including against Flair with a late game save. There's a grab from Skinny, so possibly hearing me in the back of his head, we got that psychic connection. We're casting partners after all, even though I fire him all the time. And now Skinny firing off for the shot. It is another three-point shot. A Joker here pulling ahead by nine points. Ten, nine, eight, seven, so definitely, five, definitely just three, picking up where they left off in the uh, matches from yesterday. Again, they, they swept both their matches against Infinite and then Flare. And they were close ones, especially those Infinite ones and then round two of, a, of the Flare match. But, uh, but yeah, Joker just looking really strong here. Uh, currently the first place team in the league, at least for, uh, for North America that is. I believe first overall is Phantoms over in Europe, currently enjoying a 10-0 start to their season. They've lost nothing yet. 
But a joker in the North American scene is that one. Will Kareen almost close to the goal. Rebounded and right in the corner. There's Ender for the shot. Now Ender is someone who's very capable of scoring lots of points. In the preseason alone, he had just a, a handful of 30 point, 20, 30 point games. He had a 42 point game, I want to say. The, the highest scoring, I think, that we've seen in VRML yet. And interestingly enough, we haven't actually seen to my knowledge anyways, any 40 point games in VRML. I'm not sure we've even seen 30 point games. I do believe there's one player yesterday. I, I can't remember off the top of my head now. Might've been, oh, right there, a shot for three. Uh, Ryan has it. But there was a player yesterday. The thing is there was a restart, so we didn't get the full count. So there might've been one 30 point game. I'll have to go back to those stats at some point. Or if that person happens to be in the chat, just let me know. And in there, we see more. What? What are? What's everyone wanting at? I'm so confused. Uh, I see Quotai in there, though. Good to see him. One of on uh, one of the newer teams, I think. Olympus, I want to say yes. Rejoined, perhaps, but definitely impressing. Was Quotai in, the, in that debut last week for them? Strong player, uh, and just good to see these new teams involved in the league. Now over here, Rocks Titan carries it away. Uh, goes to Ryan here. Rock, Rock's Titan saying, I'm correct, Pally. What, what does that mean? Is that, oh, that's a very correct shot. Looking good on that uh, play from down low. Wow. I guess I shouldn't be surprised anymore, but just the, the lack of any hesitation on some of these shots and the accuracy of that. I mean, look, from Ryan, just a little duck move and managed to have the concentration to still finish that. So, hey, Ryan doing what he does from every, every angle will make those shots if you give him the lanes. Even the tough ones doesn't matter. Uh, over here in the midline. Yes, people saying I'm correct, I assume, at the Quotai thing. I don't know. Goldfish Brain. I'm doing a lot here, okay? Dash here with a save. He's doing a lot every time he's in the goal, getting a lot of uh, grabs on those discs every time that it's near him. We saw Dash yesterday as well for Team Joker, uh, just having himself a nice game as a Jaywalker comes in here for the 19th point. Super uh, strong now as we start closing down this round. 19 to 5, a minute and 13 left. But yeah, Dash yesterday, he had the... Um, I mentioned Skinny had kind of a game-winning save in overtime, and then Dash came through with a game-winning dunk. He had a couple dunks yesterday where he didn't even actually, uh, like he brought it from the barrier, but he walked it straight into the goal, just like this one about to go straight in for Ryan. Rhino. Actually, no, again, Ryan 8. Rhinos are extinct, at least the one in Echo. So it's Ryan 8 now. But that was a great steal and a great shot for him, and they just are uh, beginning to snowball this one, leading into the last 40 seconds of play. This is still the first round. So time to come back uh, for Illuminati in the next, but this one's certainly over. Uh, but yeah, so I was mentioning Dash earlier. He had a couple of those dunks where he brought it in from barrier off a pass, but instead of letting it go early, he just walked it directly into the goal, giving him no time to uh, grab, get a save. And even if they did, it's one of those things where you, sh you just drag it in. If the goalie doesn't dive, I mean, there's a good chance that even just because of uh, you know ping differences, I mean... You bring it that close and are not contested. Those are going to get you some good goal opportunities. So right here, one last shot maybe just to seal it off. Uh, very close. Won't quite get it. But they will get the victory here in round one. So Team Joker uh, opening up in, needless to say, dominating fashion. 22 points to five. Very high scoring game from Joker here. Illuminati managed to put up a couple goals, but uh, just obviously not going to be enough to contend with the likes of Joker uh, currently on, I suppose you'd say, a, a hot streak here. I mean, again, between the matches that they've had over the last uh, several weeks, only the two losses to Kang. I mean, I mean then the match against Infinite. Infinite uh, yesterday, a team who, uh, before the Joker match, they, they had won five of their last six, I believe it was. Maybe even six of their last seven, something like that. Uh, but Infinite was uh, a team who's been gr uh, looking great the last month or so. You know, after those first two weeks kind of warming up into the season, they've, they've been pretty dominant since then. And yet, Joker came in. They put a stop to that streak. Uh, then they had Flair coming in. Flair, obviously, really hot lately. Off the, the victories over the likes of Illuminati. Over, you know, the, the likes of, uh, of uh, Kangorillas. And... Yeah, uh, they came in also off a of match versus Nebula uh, in that same morning. And then what did Joker do? They beat them too. So Joker kind of the killer of streaks. 
and starting, uh, well, continuing the streak of their own here. So 10 minutes on the clock, round two, Illuminati need to find themselves something. But over here, it's just gonna be a fast chow, someone letting out a bit of a yelp, worried that that shot might go in. Fast boost coming in here, just past the hands of just about everyone, except Skinny is gonna come around, twirl through that barrier, almost have it stolen there. So the uh, Joker players will hang back, Dash and Jaywalker. You can see they're already actually well prepared to go for that stack. They're prepared for that clear and boost situation, but of course the disc getting knocked loose. Uh, so now they're just going to be forced to retreat off of some uh, good Illuminati recoveries. Ender, a good shield on himself, a great pass to Suburban, and Suburban going home for the two. So opening this one up with something they very much needed, quite frankly, after what was a low scoring game for Illuminati. Only two goals in 10 minutes. At least now they have one in 30 seconds. So that's exactly what they need. Strembitsky saying burbs carry, Ender's on fire. Strembitsky, uh, speaking of fire, you're pretty lit again, aren't you? I don't know, I'm just kidding. Over here though, we'll go over to Q. Uh, speaking of Strem, by the way, and speaking of Andy over for Infinite, we do have them guesting tonight, by the by, over on uh, Dimwee's podcast. Forward Echo as right now going forward for the goal is Ryan, not Rhino, eight. Ryan N. Why did he add N's to his name? I don't understand. I see some oh no's in that chat, said uh, Burbs had that, maybe. Maybe not. But you know who does have it is Skinny, almost on that shot. Going to bounce off that corner, rebounded by Speedy. So over here will be recovered by Burbs again. It's tied up two minutes into this game, two points apiece. And I am too excited to see how this finishes today. Two. Anyway, Ender will take this over to the backboard. Area QL Young will go to the goal. Not off the backboard, but by the backboard, nonetheless. Close enough, right? That's Q's spot. As has become a running theme, a running meme. Andy asking uh, to die, uh, tonight's pubs? Word, pubs, pubs, pubs. No, it's not Friday. That, that's, that's, that's Bear League. That's pub night. Because Bear. But Skinny will bear for this pass, bracing himself as Jay Walker has three different defenders all around surrounding. Nice short range pass, a handoff, and what a play that was from Joker. A two man game, Jay to Ryan, Ryan to Jay, Jay to Ryan to the goal. What a nice series of moves. So over here on this launch, going right back. Why are the Fs in chat? What are ha what's happening? What are happening? Language, grammar, slammer for the goal. Seven to four, Team Joker. I should stop distracting myself with a very confusing chat. You see, I can only, I, when I look at chat, I, I, I retain only a few words at a time. So like, unless, I can't follow a whole conversation. So when I just see individual little cl uh, clips of, of words that sound negative, I get confused. What happened? Is something wrong? What did I do? Anyway, over here going through to Ender. Ender looking for a play here, but look at that stat coming in from Ryan. Getting over to the pocket, into the tunnel, but right back on the rebound. Uh, the recovery that is Ender getting the disc and starting to be collapsed on by a lot of defense. And even some more up top here. Skinny and Ryan uh, managing to recover that disc. A good looking lead from Skinny. So nice move from Skinny. Might get himself an opportunity at a goal. Three defenders and they will break him apart. So managing to cause a turnover here off of what was almost a breakaway play. But uh, just the stack not being stopped in the back line. So Skinny couldn't do a thing except sit there pretty after the stun. Uh, but regardless, pretty close game here in the second round so far. Much different than the start to that first where it was just Joker rolling over. That said, they're going to have a chance at the goal. Almost identical play to the backboard. Winding. Juking. Dining. No flukes. Jay Walker 9 to 4 here for Team Joker. Lanzan saying, it wasn't you, the play was what? You what might? 
I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. We got ourselves still a good game here. Five minutes left, five point match. Uh, Dash in the deep back line, recovering the disc, sending it for the clear. Or the pass, rather, had a teammate there, but didn't miss it anyway. Uh, there will be some leeches here coming through. Nicely done from QL Young, but maybe too uh, ambitious on the punch. Oh, a great save from Burbs, but Ryan, just the insult to injury. It always hurts when you get the saves, but then the re-grabs occur. So just snagging it right back out of the hands, and, well, that's going to be tough. Almost a fantastic defensive stand, though. Just look at that. A good grab, but... Again, Team Joker denying that denial, essentially. Double negative. Super negative for uh, Illuminati. But if they can get this disc back, they will still be in the game. There's 420 left. And they're trying to blaze it to the rim now with a trail. But the train getting derailed for Joker. But they'll still go back. Won't fail on that one. Skinny gets it done, assisted by Ryan. 13-4. Under four minutes left here, and Team Joker really starting to uh, pull away again. It, it was looking like, you know, for a bit there, the, the game was very close within a goal of each other uh, for those first five minutes. But now starting to pull away, and again with this takeaway, that goal is going to be open. Jay, oh, shielding himself, leaving Q stranded as Jay goes in for a most gentle ding dunk. And ding dong, who's there? A Joker victory coming up soon, I think. I mean, three and a half left. It is getting tougher by the minute, especially with these turnovers uh, that Team Joker are forcing. Grumpiest Broom saying that just gave me the coronavirus. Well, I would say go wash your hands, but I guess it's too late. But either way, you heard it here first, folks. Grumpiest Broom now in quarantine. So Flair will be needing a sub for the week. Uh, message him on Discord. But Speedy V going to take it here. Go to uh, Jay Walker. Jay looking for that clear now off that grab. Uh, going for that deep bounce. We'll just roll into the goal as some stacks come on through. It's Dash. Dashing through Ryan. And he's going to be trying to dunk it. Doing a little chugga chugga and choo chewing it sounded like in the uh, open comms there. Someone getting a kick out of that. Whether sarcastically or for real, I don't know. So Q rolls out, gets it over to Ender. Ender just missing the grabs. Uh, gets it on the second try, finding a pass over to the midline. Speedy takes that soft one right back up to Ender. So good look to hit him in a stride. Another good pass there to QL Young, and he'll go for that just head-on goal. There's a few defenders in the area, but he's still got a good enough look with us, enough space to maneuver. And that's just kind of what Illuminati's been lacking a bit. The last several minutes, especially, again, they had a good start, but... Um, at, the, at the moment, just not able to get those classic Illuminati plays where they're going for those extra passes and they're making those just those easy fundamental plays. And some of that certainly credit to Joker and their speed and their, their defense. Uh, always tough on the, the pressuring end of things. Joker is just very, very good at making you extremely uncomfortable when you're on offense because they're always right there guarding everything, always in the midlines. They're always trying to bait these passes just so they can uh, stack and dive on it. I mean, the... The way that Joker plays is extremely aggressive and dangerous at times. And yeah, right now Illuminati just having a really tough time trying to deal with it. Uh, going in here for just an extra passing play, hesitation move, and dunking it underhand because he understands it was a guaranteed goal just about 19 to 6 with a minute left in the second round. So definitely now in. Well, more than in position to pull this victory out. With, uh, the question just is by how much. Team Joker, though, in the, these two rounds. And again, I mentioned over on, on Valentine's Day is the last time that these two teams did face off over in Season 1. Uh, certainly there is a nice pass. Extra goes. And uh, again, this one looked like D Dash almost got the save. Couldn't quite get it. But uh, yeah, Illuminati getting another nice passing play there. But just a little... Little too little too late uh, at this point of time. But yeah, after that Valentine's Day game I mentioned, it was still a two round victory for Joker. <clears throat> but definitely a lot closer. The differentials in that game is that one! Goes in for the deep three. 
<laughs> um, from Joker. My train of thought, my, my Joker train of thought was momentarily lost. Um, yes, the last game, it was 9-7 to seven on February 14th, and then 14-8. to eight. So the differential is extremely close in those ones. But this one, not quite as much. Uh, the, the second round started off promising for Illuminati, but then Joker again just started with that late uh, pullback and just started unwinding goal after goal, it seemed, uh, not giving them... Oops, I didn't put the score correctly there. I'm so bad, I'm so bad, my bad, I'm gonna go check what it was. But anyway, still uh, pulling ahead very strongly, and uh, Joker will continue their role at this point, unfortunately, for Illuminati. So uh, Illuminati will fall to, I believe, let's see, 6 and 5? Yes. Yeah, 6 and 5. Meanwhile, Joker going to go to 9 and 2. So, uh, again, I'll give you a look at the stats there, but I just got to do my own thing and make sure I got the stats right because I'm too busy, apparently, uh, blabbering. So I missed, misread or misinput the stats. So don't mind me. But anyway, that is that will be our only game for the, uh, the evening here in North America, as a matter of fact. So it's like 22 to 8 it was the first one. All right. Um, but, yeah, so... Will be our only game for the afternoon, for the evening. Didn't expect it. It kind of uh, it was scheduled there at the last minute, seeming or last couple hours looked like. But glad to have gotten it. So okay, first round was 22 to five. Second round was indeed 22 to eight. All right, we we good. Now I uh, do want to remind people uh, as well that we have uh, Sir Dimwi's podcast once again. The Forward Echo coming later tonight at a 10 p.m. Eastern time, so about an hour, an hour from now, an hour and a few minutes. And uh, yeah, I'll be guesting on that one alongside Strembitsky from the Kangorillas and Andy W. from Infinite. So I'm sure you've already heard enough of my voice tonight. Understandable. Uh, but you should be excited to hear Strembitsky and Andy because, I mean, you know how they are, two top teams, you know, two competitive players. And uh, Strembitsky not afraid to make some lists and talk some trash. Andy, I'm sure, will give some of it back. Uh, these two teams also, they will be facing each other this week. If I'm not mistaken, anyway. And I could be mistaken. <laughs> Let's see. Infinite's facing Joker this week. No, that was, that was last week. Aha. Yes, okay, so they are. All right. I forget what I was saying. Doesn't matter. Infinite is facing Kangorillas, and those two players will be on the stream. So in another hour, I'll be on there. I presume you guys in the chat will be on there, and if you're not, you should be. And if you are, good. But yes, thank you everyone for watching, for tuning in. We'll be back with some more matches throughout the week, of course, as they continue to get scheduled and whatnot. So I've been Palador. This has been VR Master League. Make sure you wash your hands. And I'll see you again real soon.